Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here, and welcome back to Fortnite Save the World. Alright, um, I do apologize for not releasing this video earlier today. Um, I've, I've been really busy, uh, and for those of you who... who <laughs> I, I should have just streamed last night. Um, last night, like at 2 in the morning, I played a couple of matches with some people. Because um, I was testing some stuff out that, that people had told me about the, the bug stuff and everything. Uh, we're going to get into that, though. But I want to talk about, uh, of course, this video is for uh, content update uh, for version 5.2 or 5.20, I guess. Um, there's a lot to... There's a lot to not talk about in this video, uh, which I know is kind of weird to say, but um, we're going to talk about the fact that the, the biggest thing is, of course, I was up at from two to four in the morning, my time, uh, waiting for the patch notes. Uh, as you guys all know, every single time that we have a every single week, we get patch notes for everything, uh, even content update notes. Uh, we get we get the notes and even though usually there's not much to say in the save the world category um this particular week feels like there should have been a lot more coming to us just because of all the bugs and glitches and everything that we've been experiencing in the last week and yes i'm gonna talk about it all um, I'm going to talk about the graphical bugs. I'm going to talk, uh, especially the ones that get to me the most. Um, and it, a lot of them that don't bug me at all. But um, the and then, of course, we're going to move into talking about the the bugs and glitches that I feel are really impeding us from continuing enjoying the game. And I am going to also talk about the duplication glitch and everything more extensively. What I feel about it, how I feel about it. Um, how it affected me and, and and all of that. But first of all, let's talk about what we do have that is new for version 5.2, which is the Weekly Horde Challenge 2. Uh, so we're going to have a Weekly Horde Challenge, which actually should be active right now, which says guns won't help you here. Use abilities, traps, or melee we weapons to take these husks down. So um, I I'm going to have a lot of fun <laughs> because of my new ninja setup. So I'm actually thinking I'm going to be running this uh, several times and it should be live now and the only way that I could really tell that uh, the update did go live is this right here um, we as you guys know every single week whenever we have the content update or a patch update which happens around I think it's 4 a.m. Eastern I think it is when it when the servers go down which they didn't go down this time uh, what happens is that we see the llamas change and this llama is going to be here until tonight at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern when it goes away and it is a legendary troll loot truck dumb drama llama. <laughs> it's drama it's legendary troll loot truck drama um, I'm not going to be opening it, guys. I'm not going to be opening it because this would be 3,000 V-Bucks, which is a lot of money. And uh, honestly, right now, the V-Bucks that you see me having here, I got to make those last because I can't afford to spend any more money right now on this game. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much tapped out for the rest of the month. So I'm going to hold off and I'm going to wait for the llamas, as I've explained in my previous video, in a video that I did uh, about which llamas I prefer the most. I'm going to be looking for the triple llamas, the lucky seven llamas, and of course the 11 times llama, which is my favorite llama in the game. Uh, if you guys want to know, know why, go check out that video. Uh, I'm even going to pass on all the llamas because all the llamas is really expensive llama. Uh, to open all of them and I really don't want to do that. I kind of want to make my I kind of want to make my V-Bucks last a little longer in that sense Unless we get some other special type of llama, which is very possible. Also, don't forget guys This is we have less than a 27 hours. Yeah, we have less than a day because uh, well a little over a day because tomorrow in the afternoon is when this will go away uh, I will be going through this uh, again tomorrow morning as you guys know every single every single week you know, we go through what comes out in the weekly thing, as well as I go through and tell you what I'm going to be purchasing. And I'll be telling you guys that tomorrow morning. So check out that. Uh, look out for that video. Uh, I have 3,318 gold right now. I need I believe I need 3,400 gold to buy everything I want in here. Um, so I may need to do a little bit more, but we'll talk about that tomorrow. All right. So 
let's talk about the game and what we got. All right, uh, let's start with the graphical uh, glitch, uh, bugs and glitches. Um, so I don't have any, I, I actually, I, I do have screenshots, but I forgot to get them uh, ready. Um, the the three biggest graphical let's I mean, we're going to separate this into three into three three things uh graphical bugs game altering bugs or game impeding drugs uh, drugs <laughs> bugs and we're going to talk about the duplication glitch okay those are the three topics we're going to talk about first of all is the graphical one to me, I've seen three big graphical things. Uh, four, actually. Four, sorry. We've seen four big graphical things. The first one is the fact that cloth doesn't move anymore for anyone. So, as you guys know, I've been using Ninja a lot lately, and his belt doesn't move. So, um, when I use my Ninja, this area right here, uh, if you guys can see, like, his belt area right here. Oh, yeah, it's already bugged here. So see that right there, see right there, you can see like that chunk missing of him. Um, that's because they have made certain like flowing, you know, cloth, like capes and stuff. They've made them static so they don't move. That's why it kind of looks weird. You know, it looks like, okay, what's going on there? Especially if you look at other heroes, um, I think does a, uh... does he have any? I don't know. Um, I think they said Ragnarok does, and maybe other ones that actually have you know that kind of a cloth that that won't move on them. Now, how do I feel about this? I don't care. It's just a it's just a graphical bug. Yes, it does kind of take away a little bit from the game, but it doesn't stop me from playing. The other three is the the Survivor one, the Cake one, and the Cloud one. Okay, so the Survivor one, of course, we've all seen <laughs> great big cones, orange cones that say Survivor. When you get those Survivors, you're gonna find other big orange cones that are their med kits. Uh, it's made it a little easier to find them because they're just giant orange cones, you know. Uh, and also the 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 cake one. The as we you know we're still uh, did they take away the cake? No, we still have the celebration. So we're still in the first birthday celebration. We still have the piece of cake, which actually the piece of cake has been awesome because it's been giving me a ton, a ton of of stuff. I mean, I've been I love it. I love it. Um, but it, again, you see the cake. The cake, you know, has that whole thing. It's you know a graphical bug that happened. Um, I'm kind of surprised they haven't changed it yet. But you know what? It kind of makes sense. Uh, and we're gonna get about that. And the last glitch, uh, the last graphical bug that that I've noticed that's really like stuck out to me because there's a lot of other little things. Um, for example, like the fading, you disappear. Your pickaxe looks different. You fade. Your weapons. Fade. There, there's a bunch of little things that have been happening. So it's not just that. There's a lot of them. Uh, and I'm gonna show you guys how you can go look at them and also how you can report these and also to help the developers. But the last one that really bugs me or the last one that I've, is very noticeable to me all the time is the cloud one. So that one, I don't know if anyone else has noticed this, but sometimes when you're in a mission for really the moments, the clouds just start moving really fast overhead. And to me personally, that it makes me anxious and, and kind of a little sick to my stomach, to be honest, just that quick movement i've never enjoyed that i've never enjoyed that kind of like even in movies you know when they show like passing on time and like clouds move really fast i don't like it uh and that's just a personal thing you know so to me that's something that's been like whoa i i don't like seeing that it really throws me off um so yeah so i mean i get it and if it's on purpose if it's on purpose because something's happening to the world That'd be really cool, you know, like like all this stuff. If, if well, I don't think the, the cones and orange stuff is on purpose, but if they had been doing these little things on purpose to kind of show us and progress the storyline in a weird new direction of, you know what? I don't know. Worlds are clashing or the rifts are going to start opening and save the world or something. That'd be really cool. But I don't think this is that. And the reason why I say that, is because. They're, they have admitted that there are a lot of bugs right now, but it kind of feels, and again, I'll say this, we don't have a lot of communication in this back and forth, so it's really difficult to understand and know what's what, you know, like what is a glitch and what is a bug and, and exactly what they're working on. Because again, like I said, there hasn't really been a solid communication on this. Um, 
so that's that. Uh, continuing, let's talk about the game altering bugs and glitches. Uh, the biggest ones, of course, that I'm sure a lot of you guys have noticed is that sometimes you can't finish missions, okay? You spend a bunch of time in the mission, the deliver the bomb mission, uh, the encampment sometimes where you go through, you do a mission, and you don't receive your rewards. We experienced it several times on stream. And though that that is the kind of a bug... And I'll say it this way, that's the kind of bug that makes me not want to play a game. Because why am I going to spend two hours, three hours doing something or playing something and not get any rewards out of it? So those for me are serious bugs. Or if I were really wanting to right now progress through the storyline, which right now I've I've been waiting. I've been holding off, and I kind of wish that there wasn't this bug right now because then I could push through it. Um, you guys know. If you come to my stream, you know what I like to focus on. You know what I like to do. So, um, progressing to the story isn't a high priority to me, but I really want to start doing it. But knowing that all of these missions might be bugged, I might I might spend all this time and all these resources building something up, and then all of a sudden, nothing um that is a that that to me is a serious serious problem uh and to talk about that let's let's jump over uh we're gonna jump over to the forums and to reddit so on reddit uh this morning we had this which says mission rewards fix we released a we released a fix for the bug where you're receiving no rewards at the end of the mission, we'll be addressing the Deliver the Bomb mission activation bug with the next update this week. Please let us know, let us know if you complete a mission and did not receive rewards. Finding the cause of these bugs wouldn't be bugs wouldn't be possible without help, all the help of the, from the community, and we appreciate all of the logs and information that you've produced. We will be releasing a post mortem breaking down the release of version 5.20 along with our plans to make this right for everyone impacted by these bugs. Um, report this using the in-game tool as it allows to review your logs if this is still occurring. And of course, if you guys want to go, you can go into, um, you can go to the Reddit, you can go here, you can read. There's a bunch of more information that they've got here. Uh, there's lots of people, you know, that have like talked and everything. There's, there's a lot of really good information there. Um, so a, that bug should be fixed. And, 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 and this is something that I, I appreciate about you know the development team but i kind of hope that i kind of was hoping that they would address everything as well uh in this case all they're addressing is you know they're, they did say that bug should be fixed that's great they know about the deliver the bomb they're going to be working on it i kind of wish they would have also dropped in there we know we've heard your concerns we know about the various graphical uh, bugs um and then they could have said, we're working on it. Just that would have been like, okay, so so you know that there's a lot of stuff going on. But it does seem like they are going to do a breakdown. They're going to do a content update or maybe even like a development blog talking about everything that happened. So that we can kind of be like, okay, we're all on the same page. This is awesome. Um, and of course, they're going to make things right. I mean, that's something that I really appreciate about them. Uh, the fact that they do try and, you know, be like, okay. Listen, you didn't get your stuff. Here you go. So for me, I've done, I think like, I forget if it's, been, I don't know if it's been two or four or five missions where I haven't gotten rewards. I haven't really paid attention when I'm streaming. You know, there's a lot of people we're talking. I'm just like, okay, we can just keep going. So I don't exactly remember how many times this happened to me. Whatever it is, it'll be interesting to see when we do get these rewards. Um, so that's the first thing. That's the, that's just talking with the Reddit. Um, the second thing for those of you, and if you look again, if you guys want to go to the forums, you can go to the forums and you can see the exact same post here. Um, and this is on the, on the, uh, on the Fortnite forums. You just go there, you can read there, but on Reddit, you can interact a little bit more with the developers. That's why I recommend you go to Reddit. Uh, and finally, if you guys want to know, there is something called Trello, okay? So uh, Trello is what they use f to kind of like, you know, communicate back and forth with the issues. Uh, and this is what, like I said, if you guys want to like, check it out. Freezing, construct the leadership, evacuate the shelter, seismic impact, tooltip show zero, deliver the bomb, AMD crash for drivers. I mean, th this, this here is where you can go and get a lot more in-depth information about exactly what bugs are going. And you can also give them your insight on, hey, this is what's happening to me, et cetera, et cetera. 
Uh, and like I said, of course, you know, if you really need to go ahead and, and go into the game and report it from the game when you have a bug. Very important because that will help the developers to know what's wrong and how to approach it because they can check your logs. They can be like, okay, this person had this problem, blah, 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 blah. Uh, oh, also for me, I have a problem. Oh, this is something else. I almost forgot. Um, for those of you out there, if you're having a problem with um, closing your game and then reopening it and it tells you it didn't start up correctly, it needs to be closed. Uh, the easiest fix is just restarting your computer. Okay. Restart your computer, come back and you'll be fine. If you don't want to restart your computer, make sure you close all windows of Chrome, okay? It's something to do with Chrome. If you close all your Chrome windows, open up the, close close everything Fortnite, open the launcher, open a Fortnite again, wait for it to completely open, and then open Chrome, you're fine. I don't know what it is. It's something to do with Chrome. It's, it's kind of like doing something. Uh, I've reported that. Hopefully, they can fix that too because it's just a pain to have to do that over and over again. But I will say I do like the fact that I have to restart my computer more often uh, because sometimes my poor little computer would stay on forever. Okay, last thing I want to talk about. Uh, and I want to talk about this more in this video because... Um, I do know there's a lot of people who have, I mean, it, it, it's it's slowed down, but a lot of people constantly ask about the duplication glitch um, and more my opinion that, and I did give my opinion on it slightly, but I want to give you guys a little bit more about this. And this is the thing. Uh, I'm going to tell you guys this right now. I don't know how to do it. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea how it's even done. And I don't want to know. There's been people who have been, e who, well, when it first happened, I can't tell you how many how many Twitter messages, DMs, emails I got with just dozens of people, maybe even hundreds of people telling me there's a duplication glitch. This is what you have to do to do it. I ignored them all. OK, like I was like, nope, I don't want to read it. I don't I don't want to know how to do it. Um, and this is not because it's not that I don't think that that's, you know, something you shouldn't do or whatever. It, it, honestly, it's just. If you read it, I, I'm very big about reading terms of service and I'm very read about, big about following rules. OK, um, and this is in all aspects. I, I, I like to follow the rules, guys. OK, I like to I like to play. I like to be within the area that is permitted. So as long as I'm, I'm in within that area, I'll do whatever. I'll do everything. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll push every single boundary. I'll do every single thing I can to try and figure out how to have the best experience. But I'm not going to jump out of that. And it's very clear that exploits, glitches, hacks, anything like that, that is something you shouldn't do. If you find an exploit, and this is something I, I constantly tell people in my stream, if you find an exploit, report it. Don't use it, you know. Uh, an exploit is, and this is the thing, it's how you play the game, okay? Um, an exploit is something outside of how to play the game. So jumping outside of that, to me, it takes away a lot of the fun of it. Um, I like being able to do things or, or be able to challenge myself and accomplish things within that area. But... If I jump out of that area, it, it, it loses a lot to me. So <clears throat> my opinion about it is don't do it. Uh, my opinion about it is, you know, and there's a lot of people saying, and, and I'm going to say this too here because I did say it on a video too. Um, I did say it on stream before. Um, there's a lot of people who have been, who I came in asking my opinion about people who are getting banned for it. Uh, I was also people constantly come in asking me what my opinion about, about people who do other types of videos for, uh, for Fortnite and other type of content. And my, this is my, this is my thing. This is my answer to all of that, that I've, I've, I've said this several times on stream. Um, <clears throat> I, if I don't support it, I don't do it. Okay, guys, that's just kind of how it is. If I... If I don't believe and I don't support in using a exploit, I don't do it. If I don't believe in trading, which I don't, I just don't do it. Uh, and everything else that comes along with it, you know, and that's just my opinion about it. And my added opinion about this, because a lot of people, <laughs> I don't know if people are just doing it just to troll me or, or what they're trying to do. But a lot of people uh, keep coming into my stream or commenting, saying, how does it make me feel that someone doing like other type of content? like you know 
like using exploits or something like that uh or using stuff like that or doing other stuff or trading and stuff like that uh how does it make me feel that they are getting so much more views than me or or they're so much more popular and to me it's uh, what i gotta tell you guys is good for them great for them um youtube is a very particular kind of grind you know if you find a type of video a type of content that you enjoy making then make it and that's up to each individual person's like and dislike you know but at the same time and this is something else i'll say guys it's up to you guys the viewers okay you the viewers or me the viewer as well when i view someone else i'm the one who makes someone else popular if someone makes a video using an exploit, using something or doing something or trading or whatever, and a million people watch it, that's why they're popular. It's not because of what the content they made. It's because of everyone else watching them. So you are the ones, I am the one who makes people popular by what we watch. Um, you know, and, and that's just how I feel about that. It's not that I'm... <laughs> It's not that I'm salty about it. It's not that I have a problem with it. No, I I make the content that I enjoy to making that I enjoy that I enjoy doing, which is why you guys don't see me trading, which is why I mean, I've had a lot of people asking me and some people getting very mad at me for not trading with them. And I'm like, I just I don't trade. I don't believe in trading in this game. I don't believe that that is how this game was designed to be made. And I've been saying that for a very long time now. Um, I don't mind making stuff for friends, you know, if I have a schematic or making a schematic or making a weapon or something for someone and saying, hey, try this out. I really like how it came out or what's your opinion about this, you know, but that's just my personal thing. And to and to cement this a little more, I guess um, this was posted uh, today. I guess it was posted today. Um, and this was, uh, this is on the official Fortnite, um, this is on the official Fortnite Discord. And this is a bot, the weatherman. And it says, regarding the dupe issue, the exploit has been patched and is a non-issue. At this point, all the complaining is just becoming spam. If you or someone you know have been impacted, reach out directly to Epic Support. Any further spamming a topic will result in an immediate kick from this server. So... That's just to show you guys what the weatherman thinks about all that, you know, and, and it makes sense. I understand why they say it that way. Um, and which is why at the same time, I also I also made it a non topic on my streams. You know, if you come to my streams and you try and talk about that, we're not going to talk about that because we're going to play the game. We're here to play the game. And, and that's just personally for me. So I did want to say this very clearly because a lot of people have been asking me what my opinion and stand is on this and i really want to give you guys i really want to give you guys what exactly i think how i feel about this because um to me it again it's it's a non-issue uh and to a lot of people who and this the last thing i'll say about this because um a lot of people have been coming and saying me to me how do you feel about this you know th this 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 glitch that has killed the game or this glitch that has affected the game or that no one wants to play the game or a whole bunch of negative stuff they said and my response to that is i've been telling everyone is it hasn't affected me at all to me and people like me this duplication glitch has done absolutely nothing <laughs> um because we don't trade i don't trade guys so someone could have duplicated a million of some item it is not going to affect me in any way shape or form because i'm never going to trade i'm not going to trade with them so them having a bunch of stuff them having a bunch of weapons or anything it's not going to do anything to me now something i do say on my streams a lot and i do want to say this if this duplication glitch had been able to have been produced with schematics with like reperk and perk up and all that stuff with tickets with seasonal gold anything like that if people had been able to do that then you better believe i would be very 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 worried because that would affect my game that would affect me you know because some people would be or 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 if we were able to like you know if we were able to trade schematics and people had figured out a way to duplicate them as well 
I mean, wow, can you imagine that? That would that that would that would be that would be devastating. That would be I think that would be devastating for the game. So long story short, I mean, just wanted to talk with you guys about it, all this stuff. Uh, you know, I, I do wish that you know Fortnite would have tweeted out more at you know four in this morning, so I wouldn't have been awake. I would have loved that they would have said, hey, you know what? In the morning, we're going to talk about this. I would have been like, awesome. I can go sleep. Uh, but I was up, you know, waiting for the content update, waiting, hopefully, for some sort of, you know, post on Reddit or a development blog or something uh, kind of telling us, hey, you know, we know all these glitches are happening. We know all these bugs are happening. We're working on them. We're working on the graphical stuff. We're working on the game impeding, you know, uh, glitches and bugs. Um, but that's fine. It didn't happen. Uh, so I understand they're very busy. I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing. I hope you guys do too. And I hope you guys understand that this game is still in early development. Technically, um, we, it, this game is not yet released. It is still in beta or whatever you want to call it. And there are going to be a lot of bugs and stuff happening. So the best way we, the best thing we can do, and this is coming from someone who has spent a considerable amount of money on this game because I have. Um, the best thing we can do if we love a game is a support the developers, support the development team, support them by showing that you appreciate what they're doing. And if you have the financial capacity to support the game as well, you know, it shows support. It shows that, yeah, you know what? All this work that I'm doing is going somewhere. It is being appreciated. And at the same time. help them help with the bugs help with everything you know going on twitter and or going on the reddit forum and just saying a bunch of mean things to them these are people okay i mean these are people who are working on something and working a job and hopefully taking pride in their job telling someone something negative like that about their job i mean it it, it really hurts and, and this is something i want you guys to think about too these are people. These are people like you and me who are working on something and look at the amazing thing they've been able to do. So, you know, just take it, take it with a spoonful of sugar, you know, and understand that at the end of the day, this is a game. And as I've always said about other games, if a game no longer makes you happy, just stop playing it. Move on to another game. There's millions of games out there. And tearing someone down saying something negative or calling people names or something it it doesn't do anything but just bring more poison into the world keep it positive keep it positive if you have a problem you know what if you're upset with the game if if like if i had gotten really upset about the fact that i couldn't finish missions or everything i would have shut down the game and played something else you know move on to something else yes I would have been upset at the moment, but I don't want to stay upset. I want to be happy. So I move on to something else. Hopefully they fix it. And at the end of the day, you know, that that's that's all we need to do. So please take into consideration. I know I can't believe I'm saying this, but please take into consideration the feelings of the developers when you say things to them. Um, I can only imagine what it must feel like to have millions of people saying negative things about you that 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 must be like and attacking you directly you know it's it's just their game it's what they're doing so regardless that's the last thing i'm going to ask you guys you know if you have a problem with the game if you have a bug or something report it and hopefully they'll get back to you and believe me guys i i have sent <laughs> there's other issues where i have sent dozens of emails and stuff to to, to epic games and i've never received a response and you know what? It kind of does suck because I kind of feel like, well, you know what? I've spent a lot of money in this game. I, I've done a lot. I really enjoy this game. I kind of feel like I, I, I would like them to respond to me, but I get it. They're busy. Hopefully someone read my message. Hopefully someone understands what I'm looking to get, what I'm looking to do, and hopefully they proceed from there. But anyway, I've rambled too much. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you guys are in there uh, doing this. I will be doing the weekly challenge to Horde uh, as well as, as you guys know, today is my day off. So I won't be streaming today. You never know. I might stream later today or in the evening. Um, but I will be also talking very soon about completing some things. Uh, 
So I know a lot of people have been asking me about the Zap Zap video, the part two. Yes, it's coming. And also, believe it or not, a part three in my ninja setup is coming up because um, I found something. I found something very, very interesting about the weapons that I want to talk to you guys about. So thanks a lot for watching. As always, I am DUJ2. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. And if you enjoy the content that I have, um, that I make, if you enjoyed this video, guys, please do me a huge favor and please have yourself a wonderful day. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.